I am working on a Volvo with a check engine light. When I pulled the diagnostic codes, this code was active for engine exhaust gas recirculation, one valve position, flow insufficient detected with several counts. And so the very first part of the troubleshooting steps is pointing me to the uh, delta P sensor, the differential pressure. And so that's the first place I'm going to go and show you what that looks like. So on the passenger side of your truck is where you'll find the delta P sensor. This is your EGR cooler, um, which passes your ex recirculated exhaust gases from the exhaust back over to your intake uh, to control your emissions uh, soot and NOx. Um, so your delta P sensor is hidden right behind this little uh, bracket here. So you'll need a T30 Torx bit and a 10 millimeter ratchet or wrench. So I already removed this. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts that hold this in. And there's this plastic electrical connector. So I already had this taken apart. I just wanted to show you guys where it was and how you do it. And you have to get this connector off first before you get this other second bolt back here out. But you remove it. And there's two ports in here. It's hard to see, hold on. Um, there's two ports down here. You'll want to check those to make sure that they're not plugged with soot. And you can do that by putting a, just blowing some air in there, putting something kind of bendy like a straw, skinny straw in there to make sure that they flow through. You know, you should get more than an inch or two of your whatever device you put in there to check if they're plugged. You know, it shouldn't get blocked up or hit on anything. But they're at an angle, so be careful. But you'll notice there's some there's some condensation. There's some um, like liquid on there. Not that noticeable yet, but you'll see the liquid on here. This is the actual bottom of the sensor, and that's normal. I do see that often when I pull these off, but this is a little bit excessive. So you're gonna want to dry that out and make sure that's not plugged up. Make sure that's not coolant, because sometimes your EGR cooler will leak coolant and then it'll be passing coolant through your system through your truck and everything else so make sure that's not coolant um, but this is the sensor you're gonna dry these off and those o-rings are reusable and everything's reusable on this as long as it's good but this is what I wanted to show you I had a truck recently Volvo come in with this same code and one of the troubleshooting steps is to check the connector and if you look in there, you can see that it's got some kind of green dust. It looks like oxidation or something maybe. And if you look back there on that plug, it's got the same thing. And I just want you to see the difference between these now and after I blow them out. Because that's what I did on the last one and it solved the problem. So, all right, this is gonna be loud. But watch what happens when I blow this out. Heavy? Huh? Heavy? Yeah. Seems like every freaking time I pull it off, there's a pool of water. That dust will cause it to have a poor connection. And because these read off voltage, it'll cause it to give a low flow or insufficient flow reading. But really, it's just a bad connection at the connector. So, if you look at that connector, I blew that out too, and look at how much cleaner it is. And so I'm pretty sure that's going to be the cause of the problem for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sensor back together. I'm going to run a regen and make sure that that code goes inactive and clears. And check your pressures. Make sure that it's all right. And I think that's the cause of this problem.